Hello, I'm Cassie. You're watching the best show on the net, Fishing with Joe. You gotta love it. Pow, that is a good one. First cast, you have gotta love it. Gotta love it. My goodness, gotta love it. Oh, yes! <laughs> I seen him come up and swipe at it, then he came back for it. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. Look at that, look at that. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about right there. Another beautiful, beautiful fish. Gosh, gotta love it, gotta love it. Need bait and tackle for your next fishing adventure? Visit r, r Bait and Tackle, open seven days a week, all summer long. For over a hundred years, our minnows, crawls, and crawlers have caught fish or died trying. Call us for the latest fishing report and visit to see why we're the best in the Buckeye State. All right, everyone, I'm at a secret fishing spot, a place that I love to go to in the spring. There's a uh, large lake, it's full of white bass, and they travel upstream every spring to this area. They're a lot of fun to catch, a whole lot of fun. So uh, I hope you enjoy today's episode of Fishing with Joe. I'm gonna catch a lot of fish. Remember, you gotta love it. All right, when I'm in this area, I use a small jerk bait. Ooh, and you get immediate results with that jerk bait. Gosh, as soon as you throw it out, they hit it right away. That is a good one right there. Gosh, yeah, it is. Oh man, beautiful fish. I can just see it moving right out in front of me. Gosh, there we go. They really inhale that bait when they get it. They come up behind it and just swipe at it. It's the most beautiful thing you ever want to see. All right, this one, he really, really got it. He really got that bait. You gotta be careful with him when they get those baits. These little jerk baits, they have sharp hooks. All right, show that fish to you. Pow, that is a good one. First cast, you have gotta love it. Gotta love it. My goodness, gotta love it. All right, put this one back. So that way you can have a chance to catch him if you ever make it to this spot. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Right. You're really keyed in on this shallow area right here in front of me. Throw the bait out, twitch it a couple times, bring it through. Ah, and if they want it, they will most certainly eat it. you're fishing in these areas there's lots of clear water and you're always looking for the white flashes in that clear water and you see those white flashes that's it a lot of times you got shad and minnows that are running from those white bass you want to pay special attention to that See if just saw a couple move in. Ooh, there we go. Oh yeah. Another one. Beautiful fish. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh my goodness. The way these things fight. Oh man. And I fish for them with four pound line. Nothing heavy, just love to fight them. Gosh. Another beautiful white bass right there. 
beautiful fish. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Look at that. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about right there. Another beautiful, beautiful fish. Gosh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, he's going home. Sneaking back in that water. It's one of the things when you're fishing these small creeks. You gotta stay quiet. If you don't, the other fish that are, that are in the area, you'll scare them off. You don't wanna do that. So you always gotta stay quiet and, and stay quick, stay efficient. All right, there we go. I've got an area with a deep hole right here. And the deeper holes always seem to hold more fish. I know there's one in here. Ooh, got him that fast. Gotta love it. Yeah, yeah, you gotta love it. Oh man, the way these things fight. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. There we go. And he's got that front set of hooks down in him. You always want to have a small tool, a pair of pliers, or something like that, so you can get these baits out because they do have the tendency to swallow them. So I'm gonna pull my tool out right here. I'm gonna work on this fish. There we go, I can see those hooks. Pop them right on out. There we go. All right. There we go, there we go. Take that out of my mouth. <laughs> you need an extra set of hands when you're out here fishing. There you go, beautiful fish. You gotta love it, that's what I'm talking about. You gotta love it. Going home, thank you. There we go. him he came back after it three times oh my goodness oh and there are like two more fish behind him chasing him gosh yeah 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 gotta love it gotta love it oh he's got those hooks tangled around him there we go all right again i'll show you this fish they love to come up around the bait and snatch it. Front set of hooks in his mouth, not the rear set. All right, there we go. Another beautiful white bass. Gotta love it, gotta love it, gotta love it. All right, sneak him back in the water. Go back, Mr. Fish. Thank you, ha <laughs> ha. That's what I'm talking about. And a, an important thing when you're fishing like this is you always want to watch that bait. You always want to watch it. You'll see those fish coming up behind it, taking swipes at it. That'll help you do two things. When you see the fish taking swipes at the bait, you know that they're there. All right, you know to keep fishing an area not, and not to move on to the next area. And then when the fish grabs it, you will see the fish grab the bait before you feel him because of the stretch in the line. So it helps you get a quicker hook set. You're gonna land more fish that way. So it's important, polarized glasses, watch, watch the bait. And I'm fishing with a, a bait that's bright pink. And the reason why I'm fishing with a bait that's bright pink is I want something that's more visible. I can see it better. 
So when it goes from bright pink to black, it's in a fish's mouth, set the hook. All right, here we go. And if I'm not seeing any fish come up behind the bait and swipe at it, after a couple minutes of fishing, I'm gonna move. I'm not gonna hang around in a spot where they're not at or where they're not active. They're not hitting my bait. Perhaps there are fish in there and they're just not hitting my bait. It's all right. I'll find some other fish that will. Weldcraft makes the most reliable, durable boats on the planet. All welded hauls and heavy duty construction are the reasons why. With over 25 years manufacturing experience, you can't go wrong. That's why it's the boat Joe chooses to reel in the big ones. If you want the hottest boat on the planet, you better quit playing. You better get to Weldcraft. Now let's get back to the fishing and fun. All right, anybody home? No one? No, there's got to be somebody in there. Ooh, ooh, got him. Oh, gosh. I just lost him. Gosh. Oh, goodness. You can't catch them all. All right. And you'll see how I'm working this bait. Ooh, I'm just pulsing that rod tip. Just getting that bait to twitch. And that's what triggers the hit. They love to just see that bait twitching along, darting. They come up behind it, grab it, and try to suck it in. Oh yeah. Look at that. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Oh yeah. And you can see the way this fish has grabbed this bait. Got it right in there. Those front set of hooks are the ones they hit. What that what these fish will do is when they hit, they'll come up behind the bait, but then they'll get in front of it and turn it and try to get it to go down their mouth. Down in their mouth. Alright, there we go. Another beautiful fish going home. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Alright. Come on. Oh, yes. <laughs> I seen him come up and swipe at it, then he came back for it. Oh my gosh, this is a good one. And there are like three or four right behind him. Goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, you gotta love it. <laughs> Got to love it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Oh my gosh, this is a big one too. Yes it is. Take a look at it. There we go. Again, every time. Front set of treble hooks in the mouth. Not the rear, the front set. All right. Ooh. All right. Lesson to everyone at home. When you've got a crankbait or a small jerkbait, and the fish starts flopping around drop that fish drop him it's better that that fish keeps those hooks in him or may even maybe not then you get them in you all right there we go hooks oh goodness it's tricky Hooks in the fish, not in Joe. All right, we're gonna get him back really quick. Sneak him in. Thank you, Mr. Fish. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All righty. 
I'm gonna straighten my bait out. Make sure I don't have any extra knots in that line. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Fish gone home to reproduce, make more for the next fishing trip. Oh yeah.